Final Cut Pro X merges high-performance digital editing and native support for almost any video format with simple, time-saving features that let you focus on storytelling. This entirely rebuilt version takes advantage of 64-bit processing, whereas all the previous versions could only use up to 32-bit. This means that anything you do will go a lot faster than before. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the features that are included with this completely new version. Check out our Final Cut Pro X editing course to learn how to use each of these features. If you've used iMovie, then the new editing interface will look familiar. There's an event library that gives you access to all your source media. An event is like a folder that contains clips. You can select events from the event library at any time, and when you select an event in the event library, that event's clips are displayed in the event browser. To the right of the event browser and library is the viewer window. Like the name suggests, this is where you'll play back and view both clips and your movie. The viewer window also includes on-screen controls that allow you to adjust effects and a button that lets you play your video full screen. In the bottom section of the interface is the timeline window. This is where you'll build your movie and it includes a toolbar that lets you perform various editing tasks. With Final Cut Pro X there's a new feature called the magnetic timeline. This feature keeps your clips video and audio in sync as you manipulate them in the timeline. It also eliminates any gaps created by moving clips around. You can create compound clips of a completed section on your timeline so that you can move that section around with greater ease. You can view the individual elements of a compound clip by just double clicking on it. You can then make any edits to that section and then step back to the main timeline and your compound clip will be updated. The Inline Precision Editor features a new way to trim clips in the timeline. It expands your view of the edit point so that you can see both the used and unused section of your clips. You can skim your clips and adjust the edit points with a single click. You can import footage from a tape or tapeless camera. You can transcode your media and analyze the video or audio while it's importing if you check the appropriate boxes. You can also analyze your footage later from the event browser if you'd like. Final Cut Pro X allows you to take advantage of iMovie's keyword feature, as well as analysis of the contents of your clips. This can detect how many people are in a shot and whether the shot is a close-up, medium, or wide shot. After certain types of analysis, keywords are automatically added to the clip or still image to describe the results of the analysis, such as excess shake, one person, and wide shot. You can analyze media during the import process or after you import it into Final Cut Pro X. You can also set Final Cut Pro X to automatically analyze clips you drag directly to the Final Cut Pro timeline from the Finder. Final Cut Pro X has some great organizational tools that include clip ratings, custom keyword edition, notes, and smart collections that sort your clips according to a wide set of variables. Clip Connections allows you to keep associated clips together whenever you add additional elements to the timeline. You always have a clear visual indicator of which clips are connected, even if you move a segment around. If you have a lot of footage, the Audition feature can be very useful. This allows you to collect a series of alternative takes into one location and look through them to see which one fits best. This version has one-click color correction and it only takes two clicks to match the correction from one shot to the other. All in all, Final Cut X blends the ease of iMovie with the more professional features of Final Cut Pro.